Random T-Man 978 Trivia. As of this recording, my Transformers Alternators Vinyl Tech Chill Review Playlist has over 11,000 views. That's more views than any of my other playlists, and I have dozens. My general Transformers playlist currently is sitting at 6,000 views, so I think people care about alternators and vinyl tech. T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978. Right now, I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Alternators Dodge Viper Sunstreaker. I'm going to try, try not to kill the people that are watching my playlist for these guys. I'm going to try not to keep saying the same things over and over again. I'm going to be specifically talking about this guy. And what you need to know about this guy is he's along with Skids, Ricochet, and Rollbar, started off year three for the alternators using this new bubble packaging where all the instructions and whatnot were in the box and the car was front and center in the bubble. Hasbro was trying everything they could to advertise like a model car type situation. So, on the bottom, we have this right here. And with this particular style boxing they started putting little bios right there or a little statements i mean I, they weren't allowed to have bios because car companies were all crazy back then so yeah unless i'm mistaken this sunstreaker was a victim of what is known commonly now as pre-mold they didn't release sunstreaker as this particular style of the vehicle they released a completely different character and let's let you see that as this mold right here and then later that looked exactly like this but then later they released the correct character sunstreaker the yellow is pretty consistent under this light the only thing that's a little off is this part right here which is clearly painted transparent plastic right there I mean, it's really, really close, even under the light. The hood kind of seems a little bit lighter, even though that's also plastic. So I don't know what's up with that. Right now on camera, everything from what I'm seeing with my eyes, everything looks all consistent. You had the gimmick of the rotating tires. You turn it on that side. They have a magnet inside that makes the other tire move. You have these side view mirrors that can adjust the door opens which i don't think i play with this one that much i have to like do that which is like really tight the joints are still tight on this thing you have the detailed interior in there the steering wheel is soft pliable material and yeah it does rotate i thought it didn't rotate but it does but it's really soft and I'm not gonna mess with it too much but you can see all the detail and stuff in there both doors open up you can see the speaker in there and all that they tried to be authentic to like a 2003 Viper you can see this reflective tape on the side view you can see the Dodge Viper logo right there they even painted this and the hood opens to reveal the Viper engine inside. So yeah, previously reviewed on my channel, Dead End. Dead End was released first because fans were demanding that we get some Decepticons. They took this car or this figure and decided to make one of them randomly a Decepticon without even changing the head. head. Uh, Takar told me didn't want Decepticons because Decept evil characters aren't very popular over in Japan or something. That's what I've always been hearing for all these years. It is very much the opposite here because a lot of people's favorite characters have been the Decepticons and Cobra over in the United States. But as you can see, it's the same car, just black. Hey, it, 
I'll let you see it when we get to robot mode. You might like this character better, like I kind of do. And since I never took this back downstairs after reviewing it years ago, here's their Ford Mustang Grimlock, who feels a lot heavier. It almost feels like this has freaking die cast, but yeah, they're 124th scale. And if you have Human Alliance figures, you might, might be able to jam some of them in there. And did I say rubber tires? But anywho, transformation. First thing I always like to do with any transformer that has doors, I like to open the doors and get them out of the way. You can go ahead and lift up on this, get it like kind of like that. Take the engine out. Go under here, flip the burl out right there. Now, you can go ahead and kind of like separate right here, like lift this up right there and rotate that back out like this. And you can flip that in. Go ahead and lift the arms up like that you can separate this which this part right here is kind of hooked onto the inside just push it get that away you set the doors rotate them I always forget which way this way rotate it this way and then we can move the arms or shoulders down like that. Kind of leave it like that for now because we need to get the legs out of the way. Spread them like this. Turn it around, bring it down. And now right here, I'm going to bring that down like that. Pull the heel out. This is the mechanism that makes the steering works work. Fold that up like that and bend that in. Now we can rotate the foot into this direction here by pulling this out of the way. I'm going to try that again over here a little bit smoother. Bring this down, pull the heel out, bring that down, make that flat. Push the steering mechanism up in there and set this. The front we can rotate this and basically just make sure that this is out of the way of that stuff now up here we can move that back so that we can rotate his waist around bring this forward push that down but kind of make sure that the steering wheel is in the middle of that gap right there and before pushing it all the way in we need to Bring the seats up, then squeeze it up to that direction. Put the head up like this and bring the arms down. Kind of wedge this bumper. You could do whatever you want with it, but I used to like putting it like this and bring this down. It doesn't peg into anything, but basically, here you go. He is a robot. And as happy as I was to get Sunstreaker back in the day because Sideswipe came out first, I was not happy with this color scheme right here. I don't know. I'm so used to Sunstreaker having yellow legs with yellow feet. Like, yellow feet were a defining characteristic. And I can't recall what the Binotech looked like. But I remember the Binotech being, having a lot better colorization. In fact, I think Takara told me forced Hasbro to pick a different color than what they were doing so they wouldn't be competing with each other. Since Sideswipe was the guy that had the doors beside the arm, you can transform his arms a little bit different to make him have wings. And the reason why they designed this like this was... Originally, Hasbro wasn't able to get the Corvette license, so they were going to make the Dodge Viper 
the tracks. But then at the last minute, they were able to get Corvette. And they no longer needed the DDI. So he was going to be tracks and Sideswipe. So they gave him this ability right here to have wings. The fingers open up like this and the index finger separately. This is why all Masterpiece figures have that articulation. These guys started that. And to show you these guys are kind of huge, this is Masterpiece Sunstreaker. And this is a deluxe class transformer back in 2004 to 2007. These guys were 20 bucks. I couldn't believe it back then, but I, I didn't want to question it because I was happy about it. But in Japan, they were going for 60 and above because they had die cast and they were import toys. So the fact that they were able to sell these for $20 it was amazing. Like they have a ton of engineering and they were licensed cars, so you would think that would make them more expensive, but somehow they were giving them to us for 20 bucks. And since they had released Masterpiece Optimus Prime, who was 12 inches tall, these were pretty much masterpiece equivalent back then. Anywho, his head is on a ball joint. You can rotate and go up and down a little bit. Tilt side to side. Let's zoom in on the face. Let's compare that face to a more cartoon accurate face. Back in the day, they did not want to be cartoon accurate. They always made everything stylized. But you have this articulation. The shoulder can go out to there. If you want, you can use the transformation joint as like a butterfly joint. Rotation there. You have an elbow here. And... There is another joint right here to do that. The wrist comes in due to transformation, rotates, and you saw the finger articulation I showed. And this all right here, this red, is paint. You have a tiny piece of a waist, but it makes his windshield gut stick out. And this keeps falling down. The thing that murdered me with this figure, the hip articulation. The legs go back that much, and they come forward that much. There's no, like, crotch flap, or these things don't get out the way. You literally only get that. And then the knees, with all this kibble back here, the knees bend that much. So, yeah. Getting him into a dynamic pose without half transforming him crazy was very difficult and frustrating. The ankles, they made sure to give them ankle pivot, but unfortunately, these are on ball joints. The foot can rock forward a little tiny taste and rotate. And the hail moves, but yeah, this mold right here was severely hindered. This one and the Honda S2000. They were like the worst. Let's add the Dodge Ram to that list. And here is his pre-tool. Dead end. I have an overview on him. If you want to see it up close. But yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. This line of toys. <laughs> I have a lot of good memories from these. Because I was waiting and waiting to see which was the next figure that was going to come out. These were the first truly G1 action figures that were being re-released, and I was super excited about them, just like a lot of other people. As fun as it was to collect them and put them on the shelf and put them all together and have my G1 characters all over again, they were frustrating in a sec. It's only about two or three of them that are truly, like, really good fun, but this is not one of those. <laughs> so... Only way I could suggest collecting these, or is it, or this guy in particular, is if you want a piece of history. But other than that, Transformers has come a long way. Like I know this right here is more expensive, but I love this thing. I love it to death. And we even have Transformers like 
more for Cybertron trilogy versions of Sunstreaker and whatnot. But anyway, people actually want this. I've gotten this comment. I get comments on this thing on these videos all the time. So I'm gonna actually do the reverse transformation for once. Transformation. Take this out the hand. <clears throat> Let you fall. Push this barrel back and do that. <clears throat> now I am going to lift this up, bring this back out, flip this right here, rotate that back up, put the arms back up like this. Actually, before that, we're going to lift the head up like this. And now the hands need to come up like this. Bend the knee awkward, I mean elbow awkwardly, and push the fist back like this. So, bend the elbow backwards, and this I'm going to do the fist first, and then rotate that like that. These can rotate back down like this. Make sure the side view is out. Rotate this back down like this. Make sure the side view is out. Go ahead and pull the gut out and lift the steering wheel up. You can rotate this back around. Spread the legs again. Open this panel right there. Open the panel right here. Bring this little connector piece out with the magnet on it on both sides and go ahead and rotate the toe up towards that and fold it back like this and fold the heel in until it comes together in the front like that so we're gonna rotate this fold the heel I mean toe in fold the heel up and get that like this now we can Bend the knee sideways. Connect everything, everything like tabs together. Make sure the little magnet pieces are attached and that works. And take the engine, plug it into there. The handle sits into a spot and there's two little pegs that peg in in the front. Shut this. Bring the windshield down. You can move the doors forward and like hook them around right here. Kind of like squeeze that into place right here. Same thing on the other side. Squeeze that into place. I'm going to open the door so that it won't be in the way of this spot right here. Lift this up, bring this over, and there are two pegs right here that goes into two holes on both sides. Peg them in, and just shut the door. Make sure everything is still lined up like it should be, and bam. You're good to go. The car mode, spectacular. Can't really complain about it too much besides you seeing all that yellow back there, which never really looked good to me. I think they should have made that black. I mean, you can go in there because that's not an important part. You can paint it yourself black, but for right now, this is what you would get if you bought this. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Until next time, Gman978. Out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit. Go ahead and click that shit. If you did, you would like it. Really, really click that shit. Now I'm freaking gone.